Okay, creating a played pattern from an image, like color sample from an image. For example, here I'm on unsplash.com and I'm looking at flowers. Um, let's select this one, this image. Copy this image. Paste it into GIMP. Uh, save it as, export as. Images, we'll call it uh, flower.jpg. Okay, and then you go to my blog. I'll have the blog address in the video description. But basically on the blog, you want to click this image color picker BPP. BPP stands for beautiful plate pattern in one. So you click that one. Then you choose a file, click that. Then we choose the flowers, flower we've chosen here. So it loads it up. We can zoom in if you want. And then at the bottom, it creates a default play pattern here. But if you look at this here, um, click text color sequence. So if I click on this blue, it adds this color here. And then I'm going to choose this white. So we have blue and white now. Then I'm going to choose this red or maroon. Red. Okay. This first pattern is based on the sequence and the other five are random. So the, we're looking at this one here. Okay, and then I'm going to choose green, I guess, green, and the proportions, like these are proportions based on how many pixels in that color range. So the variant is uh, five. So if it's, it's used for pixel counting, so if the color is exactly like it, or if it's off within five uh, out of 256 RGB values. So if it's like, say, blue, the say let's say the blue value is five, and the color next to it is seven, then it would work because seven minus five is two, so that's within this range. You can change that setting if you want. But yeah, uh, so we have this pattern here right now. If we want to create more, we'll choose white. And it adds more white. Then we'll choose this dark red. And then this light red. This light red. If you want more red. And then green. Then blue. So it's in proportion, but basically you get this play pattern here. If you want more red, you just click multiple times. And it adds more. See how there's more red? There's not much red on this picture. That's why it's, it's thicker than before, but it's still not too much. But yeah, I can add more. I can add more red if you want. And then we'll, we can choose green. So that's the pattern. I'm going to copy that pattern. But you can play around with these too. You can shuffle these. So it'll be like this shuffles the, what is this? The sequence. And this shuffles the colors. The index colors. 
okay but we since we copy that pattern we can go here in GIMP and we can paste it as a new image so the pattern is 1224 by 1224 if you click this if you want any of these pattern in SV, SVG format you just have to click on the image and it generates the SVG at the bottom here then you can save image as SVG see how it's scalable vectors graphics you can save that as SVG but uh, in here once you have this pattern we can go control A control C we copy the pattern then if you want it to make it seamless it is seamless but if you want to make it to fill a larger pattern you can go new Let's say 4,000 by 96, 4,000 by 96, okay. Then we'll go to the clipboard. What's this? The patterns. Since we copied the pattern to here, we can drag that pattern onto there. Oh, that didn't work. How do you fill, fill paintbrush? I'm recording so I can't uh, how do I do this but yeah if, if you're not recording you can just drag it over um, and drop it and then it'll fill it in I think I can use my paintbrush or paint bucket or is a paint bucket bucket pattern fill You can use the paint bucket, but if you don't want to, you can just drag this over here if you're not recording. Okay, so here's the seamless pattern. Okay, I just wanted to share that and the block tool, the tool on the block that allows you to create plate patterns from images. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.